Pretty lady. Sure is Axel. If you don't mind, man, I'd be curious. All good if you don't want to go through the trouble, though, man. They can kill level 92 tyrants in one auto attack. <laughs> well, I guess I could imagine that, right? Sounds pretty fucking cheap, man. You That's okay, funny, Rock? Yeah, I'm fine. I went with the normals. Uh, I didn't I'm see it. I'll double. I'll go check it out I'm in my inventory. Little, but it must be a lot harder for poor Celica. What does Rock mean? Those bad people I told you about, the ones that used me. It was the Ganglion. <gasps> I did something terrible to Celica's village. But she saved me anyway. And she's done so countless times since. So that's what happened. Countless times. I have to help her. She came all the way out here for me. Then let's catch up with her before anything bad can happen. Got like dried skin on. Yeah. Not in my ear. I'm not in my ear. And now I'm like around my ear. They've seen us. Scab or something. Probably from me fucking around my ears too much. This is a more optimized scale. We can try that. <clears throat> oh, let me check the disc bombs for it. Oops. I don't think. This was where they were. Oh, I've got a couple disc bombs here. <clears throat> so yeah, we're good on these disc bombs. So they're the same thing. I don't think this is the one you guys were talking about. The the right numbers. The mag one. Let me see this optimized skill. Working as intended, I'm sure. That's funny. Are those disc bombs with those uh, augments even like rare? Oh, you don't have to do all that farming, man. Fuck. I feel bad, man. <laughs> that means I have to get the 50 scale, man. At least test it out. Unless you're just kind of doing it on the side, man. Like two birds, one stone, then you don't have to do all that, man. Fuck. I'd assume it's not an easy drop. 250 disc bomb version? It's like even crazier. That's nuts. How did she not notice there was fucking a wall there? Well, it's more the act of actually farming that <clears throat> is my deal. Rock, why are you? I'm sorry, Celica. I may not be able to fight, but I can at least be your shield. Not worried about what people are sending. <laughs> so that people are willing to even farm. Like, I, you don't have to do that shit, man. Oh, Rock! Nice going, Rock. We can take care of things from here. We'll see you again when it's safe. You take Celica and get outside. Okay. Thank you, 
Get used to two six. <laughs> oh, that first video is quality really bad. Right, to chance to check like it us. out. Fuck even are they, man? I'm gonna teleport out of this bitch, man. I just gotta get money for a scale, man. Just wanna see what happened in level 51's like, and then I'm just gonna beat the story. That glitch sounds pretty funny though. Is that like the only glitch like that in the game? Or there's some other broken shit you can do? Is everyone alright? Bet nothing! Team Tatsu's seen worse plenty of times! What he means is, thanks for worrying about us, but we're fine. So, did you find the Selenian Sage? I did. Then congratulations. That Three hours, the level 30 skill, properly but augmented though? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that doesn't matter. Blades all work in teams anyway. Heck, we spend most of our time bailing other blades out left and right. You're a true that was interesting. Person. And any who disagree will face angry and scary wrath of Elrock. We should be getting back home. Sounds good. Home. Well, for now, I'm just going through the affinities I have and random quests. And we'll see about any other options later. I don't want to be just putzing around doing random bullshit all day. That doesn't actually have anything going on story-wise. So we'll see what kind of money we're looking at once we're done with all this bullshit. Cheap augments to make? Hmm. That's in some good XP then too. It's crazy how much XP you get for killing somebody higher level than you. Like how it's not even balanced at all. Like the quests are like not even that much XP. And then you kill like one dude really high and get like 6k XP. I'm guessing you can do some really funky strats with being like being super low level and then just fucking getting super high level if you find like the right guy at the right augments and shit. Guessing that's what we were talking about the speedrun earlier. I haven't watched it yet, but apparently it's like five hours, so I'm guessing they do something like that. It's the fastest way to level up your XP and CP in the game, huh? That must be what uh was being talked about earlier, like insectoid augments or some shit. Man, oh man. I can't believe you actually went out there on your lonesome. Thankfully, I had Rock's assistance. 
Not to mention Elma and the others. Look, I heard Elma's report. She told me about how you found that Selenian sage all by yourself. So, this means Selica passed blade test? Sure does, with flying colors. Yes! Congratulations, Selica. Thank you. But what does this mean for Rock? Can he stay too? Hmm? Well, since he's a Blades family member, I don't see why not. Those ganglion scumbags are gonna be after us either way, right? I fear the matter isn't so simple. It's premature to say there is no chance of peace with the ganglion. We can't assume needless risk. What? But if you were to prove yourself an asset to New L.A., it would be different. Oh, come on. How many times do we have to go over this? Rock isn't fighting. Oh? Is this the point where you offer to fight in his place? No. I won't have anyone getting hurt for me again. It scares me, but... A servant sacrifice. A noble offer. But productivity demands we all work in fields suited to our aptitudes. Huh? Then what? Right now, we have a severe shortage of heavy construction machinery here in NLA. I could offer a gentleman a RNG. very favorable employment terms. Chapter 4, since they ban online access in their own home. Huh. I'd have to watch a run out of curiosity. Contribute to building our city, or you can find a home elsewhere. Are you saying I can help without fighting? I am. Then I'll do it. That's wonderful, Rock. Bah, I knew you were up to something with all that sneaking and skulking around. I do not skulk, Jack. I was simply making the necessary preparations, as one must. Yeah, yeah. Careful, you'll make him blush. I'd be curious how fun an XCX run is. I'll definitely watch one probably after the data's for shits. I always watch a run or skim a run after I beat a game just out of curiosity. Cheers to you, sir. Hotsu was wrong about Suitman. Suitman is good friend. What are you going on about? Now he is blushing. If you'll excuse me. Fall through the world in oblivion goes to fight a normally foot only super boss and scale. Maybe under all that foot only. Yeah. That sounds cool. I'd assume even with our skills, we couldn't beat somebody like that. Oh. Psycho. Psycho Mantis. Maybe it's just the routing and stuff like that that's fun. A lot of games I probably just ran like a few times for fun and then probably not <coughs> non stop. Who knows? Sure, what I'd see in a run of it either. It's interesting that there is stuff though glitches, exploits. Black Bay Night character can make an extremely stabby build with Night. Oh, really? Right now, the build's just like my ground build's just like backstab shit, like positional backstab stuff. I mean, I highly doubt it's optimal at all for anything, but it's fun enough. Oh man, it's better than flying, dude. Just fucking boing. Boing. No fuel cost. Alright, let's get this uh, storage probe going.
How long was the speed run for Xenoblade Chronicles 1? I think I skimmed it once, I just can't remember. It's pretty fucking long if I remember right. I don't think it's got like a quick version. I mean that's the thing, is like this game, the story's short as fuck, if you think about it. It's like Chronicles 1, you still have to fucking go through a lot of shit, unless there's like stories skip glitches. 100k credits every 30 seconds, so damn. Well, if we run out of shit to do and I'm just like ready to get rolling, then we'll maybe look up that strategy. For now, we'll try to make it legit as much as we. As long as we have like content I feel like going through. If I'm just farming like sub quest or crappy normal quest then see how interested we are. First metal face fight? Yeah, I skimmed a little bit, but I never caught where the big glitches were. <laughs> I need to get a rewatch on it. <coughs> That's funny. Fucking fifty by the first metal face. I must have not caught that when I was watching. It shows how good of a watch I was giving it. So does the XP work just like, uh... Like in this, on the first game? Like if you just fight really high level shit, then you get a crazy amount of XP. Clipping and then guard lock, blood jumping, the level 90 territory. Land oh, I did see that. I'm pretty sure that's where they do it in the cave. And then they go into the cave that has like the monkey and the spiders and shit. They use like Ryan, didn't they? Was it Ryan? Did they like hover across the chasm? I can't remember. I remember kind of what that was. I know the cave. I was wondering what the fuck happened in there, like why they were there, but I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, okay. That's how, like, World of Warcraft did it, too. Like, if an enemy was, like, really, like, red, I think he didn't get shipped for XP. It's funny, in this game, it doesn't seem to be that way. I wonder why they changed that. I mean, not that I mind. Well, I assume they changed it. Maybe I've always killed dudes 20 levels. Uh, 20 levels within what I needed to fight them. <clears throat> oh, it's the landmarks, I see. Oh, reserve characters? Yeah, I guess you could just boost them up real quick. Well, I feel like the... Affinity is more than my issue. But I'm sure there's easy ways to affinity farm. I saw it earlier, I could have just, you can like cancel accepting a quest and just keep re-accepting it over and over. wonder if that's like good, probably better ways to do it than that, but I thought that was funny. Yeah, equipment definitely seems more important. <coughs> oh, matters that you get the skill, yeah. That's true. Which kind of... Kind of, kind of good, kind of bad. Cause then, once the skull isn't as good, then it turns into like a money game. There's not like an assload of required fights in the store anymore that I have to be on the ground. Two fucking semantics, me. <laughs> ah.
Go low angry. Felt like it was a little bit of everything in the first game. This game it seems a little more... Tied to the equipment. Christy the Clown, man. First game you could do a lot of cool optimizations with the gems and all that and abilities. It was a lot easier to manage for me. There was a whole lot more modifiers and gear and stuff to go through in this. Yeah, I noticed that. That's why I was always worried if I had really high level shit in this game, but then I actually started doing it and I was able to kill a lot of shit. Especially with the scowl. And the first one I was like, you couldn't really do much crazy shit. Higher than you. Six levels hard. Shit, I guess it's a sudden pound from minus 40. My problem is I just couldn't hit people. <clears throat> like, I tried killing people like 10 levels higher, and man, I just could not hurt them. Important choice in this game. Most some dumb mechs. Most important choice to shoot the skill missiles at. Yeah, I guess that's an issue, right? <coughs> at the end of the day, it's. All about them fucking crazy ass OP weapons and shit. Oh, that's why I couldn't hit agility was tied to the hit percent. Yeah, I didn't I don't remember that. I always just used the agility for like evasion shit on Dunban. Or what I thought that's what agility was about. important as heck, yeah. I use a lot of agility. We didn't have too much trouble in the first game. There's a couple of times, but usually when we were trying to do shit. Too crazy for us. We also did an asshole to side content. Thank <laughs> you. 
And blade shitters. That's why we lost, Matt. That's why we lost Earth, dude. I nice suggest from jams against energy with 50 percent dodge rate. That's what I did on Dunban. I had like as much agility as I could have, and then I started putting it in other places. I don't remember what else I put it in. It made him more. I mean, I liked Ryan as a tank, but it was kind of fun having like the dodge tank in a single player RPG, single player MMORPG type of game. Obviously, it's not an MMO, but on similar rotation based kind of combat. Can he be? Yeah, I always just took him as like a like a serious, like normal, like your stereotypical tank. <clears throat> That's cool. You can do it with them. But I always made them pretty much the way they look. So I didn't try anything weird. My man looked like a dodge tank, so I made him a dodge tank. I used Ryan like half the game, just like a meaty tank. I didn't need two tanks, so I didn't care about Ryan after a while. I'm burning skull fuel. That's true, man. I'm just killing, man. I just want to kill things. That's how I get this auto attack. Oh, they're good together. I never did any post game or anything in that one either. <clears throat> Just kind of played through it. Had a fun time of optimizing shit, but it was probably nothing like Super Pro. That's cool you have them together though. I didn't realize the debuff stacked. I mean, maybe I did when I was playing it, but not to that effect. It stuns and shit. Random fucking quest with fetch shit. Awesome. <clears throat> Soul was regarded as like the best team. The most consistent team to wreck shit in the first game. Was it those three? Pulled it out of my ass, bro. Whoa. 
overdrive music. The professor man. The professor's music now man. This fucking pad makes me sweat too. My right for this is my right hand man. This is my right hand. Man. My left hand's drab. Amelia, Ricky, and Charla. I used Charla. I didn't use Melia or Ricky really. Those are my two least used characters. 